Okay. Hey guys, what is up again? The Triforce Logan here with an updated Switch collection. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. Actually, last time was when I was streaming on my PlayStation. But, um, I promise to give you at least one video a week from now on. But, uh, it's my updated Switch collection from... Because last time I did this collection video, I... It was, um... March 3rd, 2018, because that was the year anniversary of Switch. I didn't really get that many games in between, because I haven't been playing my Switch that much, because I've been preoccupied with Fortnite and Rainbow Six Siege. Well, let's start off the collection with uh, a great, uh, not JRPG, this ain't Japanese at all, with a great RPG, uh, South Park, Fractured Butthole. Um, it's just as crude as you'd expect, it's South Park. If you guys want to see the... Oh, sorry, I'll probably do this for each game. And that's the cartridge. Next game up is one of my favorite games on Nintendo Switch, and one of my favorite games. Payday 2. It uh, comes with an exclusive character, Joy. comes with their own guns and melee, and um, this box art is pretty boring. Uh, next to my favorite Zelda game, Breath of the Wild, comes with beautiful background art, I must say. We're about three games in compared to my... Uh, compared to my, like, 15 physical games. A game I have yet to complete, but I really want to. L.A. Noir. The one thing I hate about this game, and I wouldn't recommend getting it physical if you're getting a Switch, get it digital, is because, you see, this, this basically means 14 gigabytes you need to install on your Switch. I luckily got a, I luckily have a, um, SD card that's 400 gigabytes, because, yeah. Alright, one of my favorite fighting games of all time on the Switch. Well, one of my favorite anime games. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I've poured, like, 70 hours into this. This is so fun, honestly. If you've heard of Dragon Ball Xenoverse, then you know... Lexi? Joseph? Alright, then you know, um... That it's... Pretty good. Next is, I have a Bethesda game. Doom. It's got... Oh, right, I have it on my Switch right now, so you don't get to see. Cartridge is just self-explanatory pretty fun a game I really didn't like but it, I found it decent like eh. like this game was eh for me and y'all gonna kill me probably Splatoon 2 I have not played this in months because I have not had an online membership because I just got it a uh, new one new membership and um because the original reason why I stopped playing this game is because the Wi-Fi in my room is absolute trash. Because my room is the furthest room away from the router. The router would be over there, and I'm all the way right here. There's the box art. It comes with a reversible cover, but I'm not going to use the reversible cover. Because I'm, uh, because I like... Another one of the games that just irks me when it comes to that stupid white box with the internet symbol on it. I get it. They should just. They should just. Okay, so they say it right here. Revelations two needs a download. They couldn't just say that. Uh, it's pretty same. Actually, I can get Resident Evil Revelations for a uh, 3DS out to compare. But I'm not gonna go take that out. Um, if you guys want to see Revelations two, this is it. Here, you can look at the code for all I care. I, I've already redeemed it. Honestly, for... I don't even know how much I spent for, on this. 40 bucks? Yeah, for 40 bucks. This this is a great collection. It, it's one of the first games I'd recommend if you're into shooters. Oh, where do I begin with this game? This game pissed me off so much, but it was so fun. 
Mario Kart 8. You know what? Why this pissed me off? Because there's uh there's there's different levels of speed, and they're called CC. I complete I caught all gold trophies on 50 CC, 100 CC, 150 CC, and 200 CC. So 200 CC really pissed me off because that took forever. One of my favorite games on Switch of all time, like hands down. This is my favorite JRPG. As of right now. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Where do I even begin? This game is amazing. Here's the art. This game's freaking amazing, man. Um I'd honestly have to recommend it. Oh. Alright, we're getting down to the last couple games. A game I haven't played that much, honestly, but I want to get I want to get into it again. Octopath Traveler, Square Enix JRPG, pretty self-explanatory. Eight bit, it's not eight bit, sixteen bit. This game's amazing. Bayonetta two, well, and one. I've only completed one up to this point because I haven't had time to complete Bayonetta two. So, yeah, that also comes with a reversible cover for Bayonetta 1. The one thing that really made me mad before I had my SD card is that this, this didn't come, this could, right, okay, if you would know one thing about me, which I probably haven't said on this channel yet, I love collecting physical games, that's why I have a stack, like, this is the rest of my games, but that's why I have so many physical games on Switch. I may have more downloaded games, but that's because of the convenience of it. But I prefer physical anyway because I just like collecting it. So yeah, Bayonetta 2 is pretty fun. I might mean, like Chapter 5. Haven't played that since like March though. One of the games I've poured a lot of time into, probably like 40, 50 hours, which you're going to be surprised. Super Bomberman R. The only reason I come back to this is because they keep adding new characters. They added Solid Snake, which I still haven't, which I still have yet to get. Here's the art. Um... This was one of my first Switch games. I remember getting this, not this, on the launch day. I remember getting Breath of the Wild, and then, like, I think it was March 17th, 2017. I'm, I'm really good at remembering really stupid dates. So it was, like, March 17th. I went to GameStop to get Resident Evil 7 because I didn't get it up to that point, and I really wanted to play it. It was, like, 40 bucks on sale, and uh, this, was also, this was on sale for, like, 30 so I got it. Along with Resident Evil 7. And then... A, uh, do I even need to explain this? Skyrim. It's legit just Skyrim. like the artwork, though. That is my Switch collection.